What is going on guys and welcome back to another very exciting video. In this video we are going to be talking about Palantir and their AI technology because there's a lot of discussion right now about AI technologies, the dangers that it could potentially bring about, regulations from governments not only the US but also abroad. And what I want to do is I want to take a look at what that could mean not only for AI technology but also for Palantir as a business moving forward. So if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like down below and if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that sub button. Today, Palantir moved up over 6% in a single trading day. A lot of that comes on more hype around AI technology, even though there has been discussions around regulation. If we look at Palantir year to date, this stock is up over 150%. And we have seen two big benefits come through for Palantir. The first being the overall strength in the market has led the stock to move up significantly, but also there has been a lot of discussion around AI technology and how it will impact businesses just like Palantir and not only small businesses but also very large businesses like Microsoft and Google. We can see that Microsoft which has over a two trillion dollar market cap is up almost 40 percent year to date. Google who has just under a two trillion dollar market cap is up over 50 percent year to date. And with all of this hype around AI technology we are starting to see regulators look at the technology more closely. OpenAI is reportedly facing a complaint filed with the Polish Data Protection Authority that raises concerns about the company's compliance with the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation. Right now, regulators are looking at existing laws and how they apply to AI technology. What we are seeing is most of these regulations that they are calling upon are data protection regulations. And a lot of these have only been around for the last couple of decades since social media came about. Facebook has gone through a a lot of lawsuits as they have had a lot of troubles with data protection around the users of their platform. And we're starting to see that come about with AI technology. And a lot of that really applies to situations like what we see here, where people are using apps like ChatGPT to actually generate information about themselves. This specific user actually used ChatGPT to generate a biography about himself, and he found that some of the data in it was inaccurate. This person actually reached out to OpenAI and requested that those errors be changed. They also wanted more details around how their personal information was being processed by this AI technology. And according to a lot of these regulators, data collectors must have a valid legal basis for processing personal data and must communicate this basis transparently. And the complaint asserts that basically OpenAI has not been transparent about their collection of personal data. And this is likely only the start of regulations. We're seeing the the UK start to roll out more laws around AI technology. And right now, regulators and lawmakers are only looking at the existing laws and how they are being affected or abused by AI technology. What is bound to happen in the future is more laws and more regulations around what this technology can actually do and how it can be implemented. And we are even seeing people like Elon Musk, who has numerous investments in AI technology companies, call for regulation of the industry. I'm a little worried about the AI stuff. Um, I think it's uh, something, I don't know, which we should be concerned about. Uh, I don't know, I think we should need, need some kind of like regulatory authority or something that's overseeing AI development and just making sure that it's operating within the public interest and, you know, it's quite a dangerous, quite a dangerous technology. Um, and I, I, I fear I may have done some things to accelerate it. So how will this actually affect Palantir as a business? We can see that Palantir right now, according to their last earnings report, received around $302 million for the quarter in government revenue. That is up 15% year over year. We can also see that international government revenue grew 31% year over year to $76 million. So when we see these revenue numbers that are coming in from not only the US government, but 
also international governments to Palantir. It's safe to make the assumption that Palantir has formed good relationships within a number of different government agencies. And what that will ultimately lead to is less regulation for Palantir. Because what these governments don't want to do is they don't want to overly regulate businesses that are going to have a high impact in especially industries like security, whether it's international security like the military, or also cybersecurity. And if we see Palantir getting regulated in terms of the type of technologies that they can produce, that could also restrict them in terms of how much they can help these government agencies. Overall, additional regulations could actually be a positive for Palantir's business because we could see regulations coming in that affect a lot of Palantir's competitors more than Palantir themselves, and this could help them get a leg up on the competition and really stay ahead in terms of their AI technology. Overall, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this subject. Is regulation going to come in and have a negative impact on Palantir's business, or are we going to see it overall come in and not have much of an effect, if even a positive effect on Palantir's business? Keep in mind, I do own shares of Palantir. I like this company. I have a small position built out because I do believe there are certain risks with Palantir right now. It is just starting to prove itself as a business and starting to hit profitability, and I think that will continue over the next couple of years, and I think they will continue to expand their profitability as we see them grow their customer base, especially their commercial customer base. So keep in mind, do not buy a company just because some random guy on YouTube talked about it. Make sure you are doing your own research and looking into companies that meet your risk tolerance as well as your time horizon. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that sub button. And as always, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day.